Tinker, right? And then, what is it? Extra note, uh, would like to see if PM is a smurf. Yes. It is a smurf. It is a smurf. Like, 20, first match 2020 and then small wins. Maybe it's an old, uh, it, it, it's, a, it's a different account, you know? And then old player. Do you like the new expectator view? I don't really like it. But since it's already in there, I don't have any options, you know, to to change it back to to before. So I just need to get used to it, you know. Um, regarding your regarding your Tinker game, you said that uh, would like to see what I did wrong or right against BH and then PA. Even though I won, would like to see if I could improve anything if I face them, if I face against them again. Okay. Oh wait, let me just put it in here. Um, Crusader two, right? Crusader two. Crusader two. Wait, this is Crusader two. Let me just put it in here. Crusader two, twenty one. No. Crusader two. Okay. Um. Okay. First of all, why are you so concerned about your about the PA and then Bounty Hunter? I mean, are you going to lane against one of them, like Bounty Hunter mid or PA? Because for me, you should be more concerned about the uh, laning stage first. Um, also, if you're going to run like this, like in circles, if the enemy has vision in here, they already scouted your inventory, like Observer World. And then you planted it in here, yeah, see it right there? It has been scouted. If the enemy is wise enough to, to uh, see your items, it has been scouted. Free camera. See it right here? You managed to plant the uh, observer reward and then you are still running in circle. So if the enemy will buy sentry ward, See it right there? You even stopped in there, indicating that you planted a, a ward. If the enemy is wise, they will buy like sentry and destroy that observer. Because every observer ward will give like experience and then golds. If you if they kunka, let's say the kunka mid will, will will get levels will get faster levels than you, um he can easily kill you. Especially level six. Normally, normally. With the uh, ghost ship on the kunka. So you should be more careful about your about your observer ward um, positioning, and also, also here, um, Koi, regarding the purpose of the wards, you know, um, if you if you put it in the in the um, top side or top river around it for the top rune, um, it's not the greatest positioning of your ward right now. Because if if you're gonna think about the uh, about the heroes on the map, like PA and then Snapfire, most likely they're going to play safe lane, right? Top lane, and I don't I don't actually see a reason or the probability that the uh, PA or the Snapfire will gank you from the top lane is really low compared to the bottom side of uh, bottom laner of the uh, of the dire side, like the Viper, and then. Uh, bounty hunter specifically bounty hunter they can easily roam or gank mid right so if i were you i strongly recommend that you check the opponent's lineup and their their possible laning like is bounty hunter going to play top bounty hunter will go bottom you know scout or think about the potential gankers to the mid lane you know and once you um, once you know or once you predicted that yeah bounty hunter will play bottom and therefore you will be able to easily uh, put vision like put it in the in a bottom river so you will be able to scout the the potential gank you know so yeah that's what it is and here and we're clear for running. Are you going to complete your null in here? I mean, most Tinker now don't buy boots. Like, they will just go for Blink Dagger, right? 
I, I'm thinking that you're going for bottle, um, soul ring as well. Maybe now, I don't know. But yeah, you should rush the uh, bottle. And another thing, when it comes to the new Tinker, you get you can actually stack Ancients and then take it easily with the uh, laser thing, with the pure damage, uh, with, with the pure damage. And then I I also um, saw or watch a uh, high MMR Tinker player that um, he bought a smoke of the seat. This one when he cleared the ancient camps or ancient stack. You'll get envy for or this guys for like 35 seconds and then you can easily spam your lasers into the uh, ancient camps or ancient stacks if you have like level 7 on your tinker I've been doing stacks on tinker recently uh, I think it was not on his on this match <laughs> I know about the smoke have done it too nice 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 Th that's good that you have that you have done it because it's, it's a really good good way of farming or efficiency of your farm. If you will be able to stack the ancients, especially smoke and then go for laser, so quick when it comes to the farming. So yeah, well, let's see your laning station here. Trying to deny. I think it's kind of early, right? You, you should you should do that more often. You can actually splash. Let's go! Nice. Denied too early. Uh, but it's fine, it's fine. Wait, you didn't get any last hits yet? Wait, what? It's not on you? I thought you managed to get the uh, the range creep in there. Koi number one? I mean, th th there's no other requesters yet that is here. Wait, why? Ah, it's bug. It's actually bug in here. That's why. Yo, Dane, what's up? So, you, you actually have... What? Let's go back in here. Wait, why? Why it's dark now? What the fuck? I really hate this new uh, spectator view. You know? I really hate it. I, I don't know why they did this. So let's, let's see it here. One more time, one more time. So here... Too early. And then you'll be able to cure this. Although the uh, the last thing is kind of bug. It's fine. Yeah, too early. Um, Another thing that you could abuse in here, Koi, is that... The... Um, the uh, blind... Miss rate with the laser thing, right? The hero duration is like three seconds. So while or after you actually went for the laser play on the um, on the range creep and then the the kunka, you should not, you should be uh, more patient about the deny in here, right? You cast it in here and then you should be more patient about it. Um, th the other thing that you can do in here is that after sit here one more time, laser nice. After after you messed up like this, the, uh, the 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 other thing that you could try to do koi is aggro the creeps, aggro the creeps. Issue issue an attack to the kunka so the the melee creeps will follow you, and then you can go again and then deny the range creep. What happened, um, Dane? What happened? So yeah, it's fine though. Um, but when it comes to the matchups in here, um, Koi, there's a kill potential on you. I mean, you, you can be killed by this Kunka once he gets level 6. So the best the best case scenario is that you, you get faster. You, you you try to delay his level 6 as much as, uh, as, much as you can. And then after, after denying or delaying the level 6 on the Kunka, um, you can bully him. Like, just focus on your farm. As much as you can. And then once he is level 6, you can ask your support to take over of the mid lane and then you go for stack. If they ever that do did uh that they have stacks for you. So here, um sit right here. The um the crit control is something that you need to to um do something about. Like here. 
um, you, you don't actually need to use laser in there. Why? Because the Kunkai is not even close to the range creep, right? You don't need to waste your 110 mana just to secure the range creep. You can just go for right click in there. Just go for right click, man. Right? Just go for right click. You don't need to spend so much mana in that engagement. So here, last sets. You're attacking too much now. What happened, Dane? My relationship of four years ended yesterday. Ah, uh, that's really sad, man. Is there any uh, third party involved? I mean, I don't want to... to pry, you know? But if it ended badly, like there's a third party involved, that shit is really... Yeah, you really need to vent out your frustrations, man. Aw, oh, shit. Is the guy higher rank than you? Or higher medal in Dota 2? Or what? If it's higher medal, it's fine. But if it's lower medal... Give me his um, his ID. I'll report his team account. Wait, let me go back in here. Why are you luling me? I'm actually concerned. What the fuck? <laughs> oh yeah, I'm just kidding, man. I'm trying to cheer you up, you know. So. I can't, I cannot focus on the replay of coin because I'm I'm thinking about that. What the fuck did I say? <laughs> Is it higher MMR than you or not? <laughs> ah. It is hard always, but try to think there is higher reason while Yeah, we, Mole is right. Everything is for the be for the better, you know? If that relationship ended just for right now or just yesterday um you should be happy about it i mean you're still you're still young right like every time that there's a there's a there's a door that has been closed there's always one one door that will open you know so take your time to to heal up you know then get ready for your next relationship and please don't be a weeb Maybe that's one of the reasons why. Wait, was it <laughs> he just left him or I I think I think his um his girlfriend left left him and went to a new guy with higher MMR, I think. Because he's not confirming it. He's not saying anything. He's just saying lol. But I think th th that's my hunch. That's what I'm thinking. Are you doing party today? Um, no, I'm going to just go for replay analysis or coaching. Wait, I I'm sorry, Koi. I can't really focus on your replay. Let me go back in here. Fuck this. <laughs> time to you for uh, time for you to be a uh, true friend. Give him your divine account. Yeah, I can give you my my divine account if if that's gonna happen. You know. I can give you your, I can give you my divine account, and then maybe that will happen, you know. But yeah, um, regarding that one day, you know, you just need to um, take your time. It's all right to cry. It's okay to cry, as a man. I've been there. You know, my girlfriend right now is my second girlfriend. I've been there. Um, now we're like five years yeah. and counting. My first is like four years and uh, four years and above, so my current one is five years. Um, but yeah, I, I know the hardship, you know. But yeah, you just have to um, you just have to take it easy. Go cry all you want. 
just to make sure that after crying, you manage to vent out all of your frustrations, and then you'll you'll focus on what will happen next. You know, you, you cannot live into the past. You cannot live into the past. So yeah, everything happens for a reason. Maybe there's something that you you need to take a look on. That's why he left you, or she, she left you, and focus on improving that, and then go for you know go for another one. I mean, if um if a lady cannot, thanks for following. Man. Uh, if a lady cannot accept you with your worst, there's no way that you should um uh, marry her. You know. That's what I'm thinking. Like, wh why would this lady or this girl will serve you if you if she cannot actually accept you for your worst? Or maybe she's not. She's not just seeing your value, you know. Change stream title to love advice from no. Uh, <laughs> this is supposed to be coaching, but of course, this kind of coaching is um, kind of related as well in Dota too. Because if you're not feeling well in real life. There's no way that you will be able to perform properly in Dota 2. Like if you're if you're worrying about exams and then you decide to play Dota 2, guess what will happen? Of course you're going to lose. Even if you, you you're going to lose one thing. Even if you win MMRs and then you lose your exam, it's still a lose, you know. But if you lose your Dota 2 MMR and then you win your exam, it's still a lose after all. But yeah, it's always a trade. So yeah. Um, let's go back in here, Koi. I'm sorry. So, remember what I told you in here? Um, I mean, it's fine in here. Alvin the chipmunk. Don't take me seriously, man. No, 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 no. Don't take me seriously. But yeah, it's just um, based on my experience as well, too. So here, this is the first wave. Um, you, you creep aggro. That's nice. Um, and then here... You're actually denying too early. Like you're you're basically giving the uh, the, the miller crypt to the uh, kunka. See right here. I, I like the the crypt aggro, but here, 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 right. You could actually attack the kunka for now, because you just de aggro the creeps. There's a cooldown of 2.5 seconds. That means with that time frame, you can attack the kunka, and then the uh, the creeps will not follow you. But instead, you went for. The deny, which is pretty much give it away. You just gave it away, and then you 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 you, you miss to um get the last hit on the melee. Bad one. This one is nice. I really liked it. But here again, you're way too early for the deny. And talking about the kunka or the matchup against kunka again, um, if the kunka gets level six, uh, there's a kill potential. Like, he can just X mark you, and then torrent, and then ship, and then plus one, or maybe he's alone, he can kill you. So, maybe you could get something like raindrops as well after, just so, uh, to, to mitigate the damage. And then you aggroed in here, and then the creep or the, uh, tower is killing them. I failed to deny. And then you even use the laser in here, you should just be attacking it, because there's no contest. Like, the Kunka is not trying to deny it, even. So, yeah. But you're actually winning the battle in here. Like, now he aggroed. Um, you, you should be controlling this this creep instead of trying to kill it, right? Because if you control the creep in here, see what will happen in here. I think you will, you're going to play from the low ground because you did not control that creep. Yeah, this one sucks. This one is really is really bad for you, right? Because if you're going to harass the Kunka in here, the melee creeps will follow you, and then there's a possibility that, that you're going to miss some attacks because you're playing from the low ground but yeah he actually went down and then tried to fight you back I don't know man and then he's going to push out the lane it's a nice thing for you because the, the enemy did not actually understand the, the uh, lane creep equilibrium in there if the kunka is wise or a smurf as well he will control that creep in there he is not going to push it and then you come on man See it right here? Right. He just used the uh, Tidebringer, right? He just used the Tidebringer, it has a cooldown. And then he used the Torrent as well. So that means... 
that means there's no way for him to last hit this range creep, right? But instead, you prioritize the deny over the last hit. Even if you... I mean, the only way that he can get the range creep in there is by committing his hero. Like, moving his hero in there. But again, the uh, or at the same time, his creeps are dying under tower. So if he decided to go for the range creep in there, he's, more, he's going to die. So you, you don't need to rush those denies. Just focus on your last hits first because your timing is much important than Kumpa. Once you have your blink dagger, it's gonna be really nice. You can rotate, you can kill, you can do whatever you want once you get your levels and then your item. Waited for bottle first before going for the uh, rune, that's nice. But I think you're, you're... yeah, it's fine, it's fine. So far, your observer ward is not being rewarded by the Kunkka, even though he scouted your observer ward. Yeah, you, you lost one creep in there, but it's fine. You, you managed to get the... Uh... Wait, he, you actually used laser in there. You can try to stack in here by 3 minutes. You should stack. Stack, stack, stack. No. You decided to lane, like, go in here? You should be stacking at least. Stack it, stack it in there. Here, here, here. Let me show it to you. Free camera. Um, to me here, you don't need to go for the laser, but it's fine, it happened. Last slit. So yeah, 53 or 55 even, and then you go in here, and then by 3 minutes, you're, you're up here. 3 minutes. And then you can actually go for the last hit in there again. But yeah. You should try to stack for yourself. At least. It's fine if the um, it's fine if you have support that will stack, but for the most part if we're talking about um, random matchmaking. Laser, laser, laser the guy and then deny your observer. Nah. If you if you laser the uh, the Kunka in there, he will he will be blinded. And then all of his attacks will, will miss. And at the same time, with 3 seconds, or 3.5 seconds, you can deny. You can deny that Observer Ward, because you just gave the uh, 113 gold in there, and then the experience. Um, the, the Sentry Ward is only, what, 50 gold? So that's like 53 free gold in there. D don't feed your Observer Ward, if possible. Try to deny it. So here, um... Waiting for laser again. It will be last hit, yeah. Denied? It's not. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be denied for sure. So here, um, almost rune as well, right? Remember what I told you in here regarding this stack in here and then go in here? So yeah. But y you decided to go again in, in, the, uh, in the mid lane. You're not accelerating your farm. Or be efficient with your with your mobility. So now you cannot easily go back to the to, to the rune because you're very low, and then there's still creeps going on you, right? And now the, the kunga will get it too. You don't have level six, so you're going you're going back home. Walk of chain, bro, right? Even though you're winning the the early game with your with your tinker that you managed to harass. The, the Kunka and even make him low but since you have a really bad um, understanding of the lane equilibrium you're now losing you're you're now forced to go for the walk of shame Throw a line to Radiance Middle Tower. It's Just like I mean it's fine if you're going to buy something like salve but you, I don't think you actually want it right so, be careful next time regarding those. And then you're going to just destroy a sentry in here. Imagine walking into Inker. I mean, it's fine if he got like level 6. But it's still level 5. Last it. Uncontested, by the way. Uncontested, and then you lose like 2 lasses in there. Um, you, you have to make it count, Koi. You have to make it count. Whenever, whenever there's uncontested creep, you should make sure that you're going to get all of it. All of it.
Goals are important. But the time is much, much important. Can the Kunga kill him right now? Yeah, if the Kunga will play right now, level 6, regard like what I mentioned, if the Kunga managed to use the combo, Kunga or the, the, the Tinker will die. The Tinker doesn't have um, raindrops even. X mark, boat, and then Torrent. He's dead. Unless someone will tip in and save him. I don't know why this Kunga is playing so passive, right? He's just letting the Tinker get away. With his greediness. I mean, the cast range of the X mark is very low, but you can just walk to Tinker because Tinker don't have boots, right? Tinker don't have boots. And you have boots. Look how bad this guy is, right? Instead of killing you and then dominating the mid lane, he decided to roam around like a headless chicken, right? You're getting away with this. You're so lucky, right? Even though you know that the Kunka is missing and then he got the rune. You're still in here. You're, you're even posturing yourself in the low ground, right? Because if it's me, I'll, I'll be scared and I'll be playing in here. Near my tower. What if the, the Kunga got haze or double damage, you know? Or the envy that we got in there. So now... You saw the, the Kunka. And where are you going? Stacking now, right? You should be stacking by now. I, but I think you're late. Because of your pathing. Yeah, you're late because of your pathing, bro. Your pathing sucks. But yeah, it's fine. And then you're buying Observer in the center again. I mean, yeah, of course, you use the rocket in there. And then the, uh, the bounty hunter recognizes the uh, Observer in there. I mean, the hit seeking missile will only work if you have vision on the enemy. You're dead. You should die on here. Not yet. Ah, yeah, it's on gold bell. Use it in the in the bottom. Same placement, and then it has been scouted. The fuck. Good thing there's still no ghost ship. Go for a rune. See it right here. Laser. Yeah, you're dead. Wait, you should die. Why are you still alive? How did you live in there? Is that a visual bug? See it right here? X mark. He's at. I bring her. Ah, he's out of mana. That's why. Because if that Konka has mana, you're dead in there. And then this guy committed so hard. And he's dead. The next level play. You're so lucky, Koi, that this is happening to you. You could be dead in there. But yeah. If the, if the enemy is much better than this Koi, you're dead. Thanks for the gift, Dane. What? <laughs> the Brizzleback took your bounty rune. The fuck? Maybe he don't know. I mean, you're Tinker after all. Every mid will go for bottle, right? Look at here. Same, same observer, same sentry. So that's why it's so easy to deward. And laser. Yeah, nothing unusual. But now you don't have any vision in there, right? If I were you, I'll be stacking in the bottom. Here, here, here. I'll, I, I, I will be stacking in here instead. Since um, the Kunka is missing. And then they showed up in here now. Thanks for subs, Zane. It's actually 8 months now. Wow. And the overstate in the mid lane. Are you going to die? Why you're not dying, Koi? I mean, I I'm really surprised in this particular game. Because you haven't died yet. 
despite the enemy having a kill potential on you. How to roast Tinker? I mean, I, I've been roasting him now. What do you mean? I'm already roasting him. Like, gameplay wise. Look at, look, look at the Nethworth Koi, right? I mean, before you even TP, you can actually try to stack it first, the uh, the large camp in there. But yeah, I, I'm really surprised that you never die in this lane, especially after level 6 of Kunkka. You're so lucky in this game. And look at your net worth, it just so shows up, right? Look at, look at the farm, and then again, same observer, same sentry. You never learn, this is the third or fourth time. Is it fourth time? Third time. That you place the same observer play, uh, observer in there. And then you still don't have your blink dagger. Like, look at your nest worth, 3.6, 3.7, right? You definitely lose the lane. Despite having a good start, you lost. And then you don't have blink dagger, he'll just run away. Nah, he actually fight back. <laughs> Fuck this Kunga, man. Kunga is really bad. That's for sure. <laughs> but yeah, he dominated the, the mid lane. Although he should be, he should be killing you on multiple occasions. He should, he should kill you. But I don't, I don't really understand it. He let you live for two occasions, and then here you got blink dagger. You, you can actually go for what? Ah, the, the PA is healthy now. You're going to die in there. Just run. Laser, nice. PA, PA, PA. PA. You should go on PA. Why? Why on Tinker, bro? Or why on Viper? Look, look at here again, okay? Alright, look at here. Look at their spells, right? This guy don't have any more spells. And then th this guy used the Phantom Strike, right? Phantom Strike, okay? So the uh, the better move for you in here, see it right here, 200 HP on their PA. And then th th this one is pure damage, 320, all right? You can actually go for Blink Dagger in to the PA and then kill the PA. Even if the Viper will turn around and then try to kill you, there is no way that he can kill you because you can just go out. Like TP out, you know? This guy has no stun. So, but instead what happened in here is that you, you decided to go for the uh, Viper, you failed, and now both of them survived. Right? TP home and then PA got the Battle Fury and then he will go for farming in here, right? Imagine if you just go for PA in there and then just let the Viper. A Viper is not going to win the game. I mean, carry the game. It's going to be you. And the uh, the PA. I mean, th there's the gyrocopter in here for sure, but the enemy's carry is the um, is the PA. So you should prioritize the PA. Prioritize the core, like the the carry and then the mid and then the offline. Always have a priority. Did the Kunka use um, ult on Bristleback? Yeah, I think so. It's kind of ambitious, you know? It's going to be Viper that can easily kill this and then the Snapfire. But yeah, that is what happened. So here, let's go for times 2. Only Blink Dagger until now. Um, Wait, Overwhelming Blink? Already? It's not a good idea to rush the overwhelming blink. Um, maybe get other items. Like, what is the item that is good in this game or in this scenario? It's common build nowadays. Yeah, but it's so expensive. It is really common, I agree, but it's really expensive. Like, look at here. This one is... um. 6.8, 2.8, 2.8k, and then 1.7, right? So this is basically um 
3.550, right? 3.550 and then it's, it's only just an upgrade to your blink dagger. Only, a, only an upgrade to your blink dagger. So what if your blink, you already used your blink dagger or you, um, you're, you're taking damage. Therefore, you will not be able to use this. Right? It will be cancelled, right? B but again, though that 3.5 gold, you could buy something like Etherlands, uh, Bloodstone, or Paya in there. Even Ethereal Blade or Dagon, I don't know, what do you want to, to do in this game? Yeah, that overwhelming blink is really expensive for me right now. Aghanims, the Shrink Ray. I don't think you... I don't think Shrink Ray is actually good in this matchup. I mean, if you're if you're going to go on the laser build, like with the Aghanims, um, especially you have enemy like PA and then Kunkka Bounty Hunter, I think it's better if you just kill them first. Because if you cannot kill them immediately, they can they can turn around and then again same position of your observer ward. Massive increase increased range on the laser, yes. I mean, yeah, for sure it's going to increase your your laser gas range, and it will reduce the uh, the health as well. But it's only on the laser. We don't have mana. Oof. Easy game. I don't know why they overstayed in there, but yeah. We should be pushing the mid lane by now. Uh, for the most part, the the common build right now when it comes to the mid tinker is that yeah, overwhelming blink is really nice, really tanky. Shiva's guard, bloodstone. Aghanims is kind of optional. You're out of mana. I think you're going. You should defend in mid. There's no PA, and then there's no gyro, and then there's no black hole. Keep going. The PA just killed the gyro with the help of the sapphire. Because the PA think that you're going to play in there. I don't think I saw Tinker buy Ags lately. Even me, I don't. I don't see Tinker bought Ags. Because when it comes to the Aghanims, like 4.2k, and then it's only about the laser, it's not really worth it. Like, if ever that the enemy will saw Tinker, they will immediately go on the Tinker and then kill the Tinker. Because the longer, the longer the Tinker survive in a team fight, the more damage he will do, right? Because he can always refill his mana and then go go back again. So everyone is missing in here. Like TP to the mid. Solar. Did you win this game? Soul Ring. You still have Envy though, but the uh, Bounty Hunter is missing. Wait, why are the enemies going on the Bristleback? They should be going on you first. Um, you actually need Dust if, if you want to kill this um, Bounty Hunter. Other lens and then Aghanims, you will have insane amount of the uh, cast range. I mean, why are you so afraid of being ganked by the enemy? Like, y your main reason for f to buy the Aghanims is to, to have more cast range, and then you will not be able to 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 die, right? But I in reality, if the PA is actually good, and then the Konka, look at the PA, right? This guy has blur. And then this guy has a phantom strike, like cast range 1. Uh, 1, 1250, right? So he, she can actually go for blur and then go for phantom strike later. If you got, if you got tracked by bounty hunter while he is, he's using shadow walk, he can go for track and then, 
Um, they, they can they can kill you. They can try to burst you in there. So even if you have good cast range or high cast range, if the enemy know your positioning and then they waited for you, you're going to die. That's why for the most part, for the most thinker these days, they are going to play Shiva's Guard, Bloodstone, um, Overwhelming Blink, Ghost after Earth Area Blade. Just to be more tanky and then they can actually do more fights. I'll be lasering her from 1.7k and in team fights. That's nice. Can it's BKB in this game? Um, if it's going to play like really far back, maybe he don't need BKB. But if it's go if if he's always getting caught, he will need BKB. So what's the current cast range in here? 650, right? 650. If you have like um agonims, it will be 950. 950, and then add the lens is um 225. So that's like 1,100 cast range. So I mean, there's splash in here as well too. I'm not sure about what you said about uh, 1.7k range. Maybe it's something to do with the hit second missile. But when it comes to laser, no. You're still out you're still being outranged. The hit seeking missile is like 2.5. 2.5k range. This one is really out casting or out outranging the PA, but with the laser, even with agonims and then and then the um, and then the Azure Lens, I don't think you will be able to to outrange this uh, PA. And maybe you'll have like uh, neutral items. It is splash on backline. Well, we're talking about PA in here, right? So if if the PA will decide to fight you, most likely she will use blur first. Like what happened in that kill, right? She will use to um she will go for blur first, and then if you showed up. It's gonna be it's gonna be a um, a test of patience, you know. Whoever shows first will die, or will get will receive some damage. But in in your case, a sticker, it's it's kind of more dangerous because if if you showed up without knowing where the PA is, you will die because most likely after Battle Fury Deso, ah, he wants Basher. After Basher, most likely he will go for BKB. Or maybe he will not go for BKB after all, I don't know. The splash is actually uh, what's the range of splash? Let's let's take a look in here. I don't actually have the number in there. Bonus cast what? Wait. Why it's saying bonus cast range is uh, four hundred? Rages, secondary damage, two fifty. Bonus cast range four hundred? And then granting 300 cast range. 300 cast range. The bonus one. What is this uh, 400 cast range that he's talking about? Is that the um, splash thing? The splash, yeah. I mean, when it comes to the uh, to the laser bounce, right? I think you... You're right about uh, being able to outrange the PA in there because of the uh, additional 700. But again, see it right there? This is the second time that he, that he just killed you. He waited for you to show up and then he just killed you. This is the second time, right? Even if you have like agonims and then the splash thing, like the bounce thing in there, those things that you're saying, like outranging the, the PA, if she will use the blur and then wait for you, you're going to die. Scepter is the play? Uh, I don't. I, I still don't think so. Again, even if he has Scepter, if the PA will use Blur, it will not even bounce to the PA. Right? That's what I think about it. Because if the PA is good, they, she will just wait for the Tinker to show up and then burst the Tinker. If the PA is good. So, in your case, you just need to be careful about your positioning. Go Scepter? Yeah, definitely go Scepter again. Against PA though. But the PA can actually go for something like Nullifier. Nullifier and then BKB. 
Yeah, you, you killed the PA in there. Channeling. Go again. Wait. Keep going. You're, you're actually running away. Yeah. The PA is so strong. And then you're just spamming missile. And then you don't actually need to use your blink dagger in there if you're spamming the missile like there. You don't have to use your blink dagger. Just spam it, you know? So, in this particular game, there's no actual stacks for you to take. Um, you have your Aghanims now, now you want Ezer Lens. So let's see it in here. We're going to fight. Um, you have to buy detection for yourself. Nice. You're surprised that they that they win this game? Look at this thinker. You should not be surprised. Seeing ha seeing him perform like this, you should believe that he's going to carry this game. But now he's AFK. Maybe later he will carry the game. Now he's AFK though. He's back in action now. Nice, nice, nice. But um, for me, Cole, you should get like Iron Branch in there. Or you should get Dust of Appearance. Remove the Iron Branch. For me. Because regarding your team's composition, um, there's only one guy that has Blink Dagger, which is uh, the Enigma. So that means um, the mobility and then the detection you know unless the bounty hunter will play under your vision and then you are just waiting for it and then they're they're, they're just they're, it's so easy for them to kill the the bristleback with, with the help of viper and then punka for control pa got bkb um yeah you, look at you look at you here koi right look how you utilize your blink dagger you just refresh Rearm and then here, even though they don't have vision in here, they don't have any vision in here. Instead of casting your laser or hit seek a missile, you just decided to blink out immediately. They don't, they don't see you in there. You're in the fog. You're in the trees. Right? There's no way that it'll, that, that um that they see you in there. So be be more careful regarding your blink usage. Not because you teleported in there, it doesn't mean that you must use your uh, blink dagger. Now you, you should get like detection in there if you want to fight in there. But yeah, it's a lost cause anyway, since there's three heroes dead. Scripting? <laughs> it's a script that he used. <laughs> or maybe it's a habit, you know? Maybe it's a habit. Um. For me right now, Koi, there's so many unnecessary movements that your Tinker is doing. Like this one, you're not using your Blink Dagger, which is nice. BKB on PA. Wait for the BKB. Yeah, look at you, right? You're still using your Blink Dagger. You can actually go for a laser in there first before you go for blink. Can you actually kill someone? Keep on soul ring. You even you even blink from here. From here to here. You, your blink usage is not really nice. Look at you, right? They don't have a way to stun you or to stop you. You can actually go for a laser in there. At least like walk in there, laser, missile, and then blink out. And then after that, um, you can rearm and then walk in there again, laser, blink out. It's definitely a habit. You can actually, you can actually do more damage in there instead of just going for blink and then missile. You can definitely do damage in there. Especially when the enemy don't have vision on you and then you are seeing them. Go for laser first, and then you blink out. Uh, look at the talent that you went for. Uh, the, the first talent is nice, but regarding the um, the hit-seeking missile count, 
thing. Um, the, the most picked talent at level 15 is actually the right talent. The uh, 0 0.5 Keen Conveyance time. Like reduction in there. See the, see the channeling time in here? 4.5, 4, 3.5, right? If you have this, it's like TP only. 3 seconds. If you have the talent. No BKB. L look at you, right? Look at you. Look how you look how you use your your blink dagger in here. See it right here? The PA is controlled. No BKB used in here. Um, you can actually try for laser first. Laser. Laser and then missile. Right? Laser missile and then rearm. Right? You're wasting so much time, but and then and then you, you decided to go on the bounty hunter. You should be chasing the PA by now. You should chase the PA. Ah, uh, you, you want you want bounty hunter. It's not really worth it. It's not worth the job or the trouble. Since you go for the bounty hunter, the the PA just killed your carry. The PA just killed your gyro. You should you should go for the PA in there. See it right here. PA is here. No BKB. Ah, you failed. But yeah, yo, if you manage to, if you manage to teleport in there, that PA is dead. But yeah, you're still, you still went to top lane, you know. You're actually farming too much. I mean, you're farming in the wrong side of the map. Like you can actually farm their PA. Kill the PA. No BKB anyway, so. Or maybe in your perspective you didn't scout it. That's why you're not playing against the PA. Wait, is that Shadow Blade? The guy even has Shadow Blade. And then this is the time where you should go, you should be careful about your positioning. But yeah, you decided to go for low ground, you got tracked. Blink out, look at your blink, u blink usage, right? Here to here, that's why. And then you decide to buy back in here. Nice black hole, but is it actually enough? Your X mark and you're going to die maybe. Nice blink out. Now they don't do anything. Gyro is there, go for the arm. Perfect. Easy game. Go, go, go! Don't be afraid, you can blink in. Laser, easy game. Right? Now you can TP out. The next level of play. I thought you were going to say the easiest mine of your life. You can actually go for Roshan if it's up. Yeah. You should take it because you bought back earlier. You should take it. There's no reason for... What? There's no reason for the gyrocopter to take it. I mean, he don't need to barrier anyone if he's um, having a hard time, you know? He can either barrier his teammates like this, or just do the damage. Focus on the damage. It depends on their communication, you know. You should get, you should really get like um, detection. You really need detection. Laser, laser, shoom, shoom, shoom. They're playing bottom. What can you do next? You can actually go, yeah, but you don't have black hole for four seconds. <coughs> but you have ages. Viper is dead. See the PA in here? Look at you, right? 
Um, again, Koi, it seems to me that you love going for the missile first more than anything. Like, look at your look at your perspective or look at the free camera, right? This one is good. This one is good because you went for the laser in here, right? But the upcoming moments is not nice. Like, you just went for blink, missile, and then that's it. You didn't even bother to go for laser again on this Kunkka, right? Because there's no way that they, that they can catch you in there. You're, you're so afraid. You should be casting your laser. I mean, why bother going for Aghanims if you're not going to cast your laser? You need to spam your laser like this. Man up. Right? But you don't have detection again. You should buy detection for yourself. Although the, uh, the result is actually good of this fight. But definitely you could um, you could deal more damage. Nice laser and then here, this is a bad part, right? That's the bar uh, the bad part. Another bad thing. Second time that you just go for missile. And then now Snapfire actually didn't do anything against you. And then bounty down just survive. Or you don't have protection. Now you're laughing. Again, if you have if you have the uh, if you if you're playing Tinker, and then you're up against invis invisible heroes, you should buy detection as well for yourself, because you can easily catch up to the enemy with the rearm and the blink dagger. It's really worth it. The investment is only like eighty golds, and then how much gold if you're going to kill this uh, this bounty hunter? How much gold you get? It doesn't show up in here, right? Maybe if you kill the guy, it will show up. But that's my point, you know? Appearance, that's of appearance. You have to buy it. You don't need the, you know, you don't need the null. You don't need the stats from the null talisman. Okay? At this point of the game. Because you, you have enough damage. You just need to have vision to kill those guys. You just need utility. Wait, you're actually going in. Yeah, it's fine. Shared right here is still going for missile. They gone. Pushing top. You should be you should be connecting with your team right now. You should be connecting with your team right now. They're fighting so hard right now. Oof. And then you get surprised. Let, let's see it here one more time. Here, here, right? There's still no PA. They're smoked. Got tracked. They're still busy in the top lane. Um, since you didn't help your teammates in here, I mean, I again understand that you guys are still weak in here. The best thing that you could do is either make a call for your team to get back, and then. Make them, make them realize that you that you guys are so weak. Like no black hole, you have to play it safe because the enemy has like uh, five heroes in there. If that guy used BKB, I think, or someone controlled the uh, the Enigma, you're dead in there. You did with chat. D do you use microphone though? Because sometimes the, the chat is not enough. For the most part, Koi, chatting with your teammates is not enough. Especially if you're going to play in Southeast Asia. You have to you have to use your microphone. This PA really wants to just kill someone. But if, if you if you'll be able to Kite him, it's fine. And I think at this point of the game, Koi, the, the game is over, right? So at this point, I don't, I don't see anything else for us to learn in here. And I can just summarize the game. Do you have any questions, though? It's not yet over. I mean, it feels over to me. Like we're not, we're not going to learn anything from here. 
See it right here? The, the bounty hunter is surviving. You can actually make a slot for the uh, for detection, but you don't want to do it. Right? Imagine if you have like detection. You just died. Died back. And then you don't have like buyback in there. Can you see the last fight at least? Ah, okay, okay. Gotcha, bro. Gotcha. Is this is this the one? <laughs> is it the one? Uh, let's see it. Let's see it. Okay, let's see it. Let's see how good he is. Uh, look at the bounty hunter. He's in your face, you know. He's in your face, man. Dago. Yeah, he's dead. PA. Nice. He actually carried the game. That's why he wants it. He even pause. Ah, this guy. This guy is really my student. He's going for question mark and those things. Those BMs, you know? This one is really my student, man. I'm proud of you. That's why. That's why you want us to see it. All heroes are dead. And then, why are you still defending in here? You should should play with your team. Play with your team, play with your team. Alright. Nothing else. I beat a Smurf PA, yeah. But what is the chance that the 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 actual rank of this PA is only legend? I mean <laughs> one medal above Crusader. Or you know Archon, I don't know. But clearly he's not supposed to be in the Crusader bracket. Hmm. Roshan to the PA. But again, Koi, look at you. You're not really abusing your, your cast range, right? You love the uh, missile. I think there's the last fight. I thought that's the last one. But yeah, well, let's watch it. You have so many gold. This one is... Nice black hole. You'll get caught in here. Almost. Day gun. Use your day gun. You're still using missile. Just go for laser this time. Yeah, go for missile. They have no stun. They have no stun to stop you from. Oh shit. Go! Laser is putting work. I thought it's the Enigma that is carrying them to the team fight. Then here, Koi is still farming. Nothing unusual. Even though the PA is not killing her, uh, killing him, is going for Ghost Scepter just for the uh, pre preventive measure. This is the power of Koi. If he's done farming, he will be able to uh, turn around the tide of the battle. You know. Good thing it's not really late in there. Nice. And this is this is the last fight? I mean there's no fight in here. This is fountain farming. Ah, you you scam You lied to us. There's no fight in the in the ancient. There's no fight in there. Maybe it's in a different replay. Koi is so strong. For a crusader too. Too strong. The uh, the fellow crusaders cannot handle him. 18 4, 21. <laughs> it is definitely a different match, Koi. What the fuck? But yeah. It's fine, it's fine. So to, to summarize your uh, your game, um your tinker, you're getting away with something that will not happen in the higher MMR bracket. Perfect example is that the Kunkka never killed you in the mid lane or after getting level 6, you know? He never killed you after getting level 6. Which is really questionable for me. I mean, it's Crusader after all. Crusader 4, September 12, and now he's been losing. No wonder this Kunkka dropped to Crusader 2. And when it comes to the itemization, Koi, your farm, Having 
What is your timing? 12 minutes? Blink Dagger? This one is very slow for me. Because the Tinker that I'm seeing in, in my games, less than 10 minutes. They will have the Aghanims, or the, uh, the the Blink Dagger. Less than 10 minutes. Um, since they don't need to buy Boots of Travels, you know, they can just go in for the uh, Blink Dagger. Um, like, 9 minutes, 8 minutes, average. And then your second item is that you went for... Um, or even we just we just blink dagger in here. Um, you you don't know which target you should you should go for. Like you're going for viper, you're going for snapfire. You don't even prioritize the PA, and then you died twice on the PA in the same exact thing. Like you showed up. You you need to be more careful about your positioning, Koi. If if you are badly positioned in the higher MMR, they'll just punish you. I mean, the PA is punishing you for it, but it's not even that consistent that, that consistent about the punish that you're getting. So, you have to be more careful about it. And again, your item is agent in here, Aghanims. Um, you went for Aghanims, even though it's not really recommended in this game, because there's a PA that you cannot easily out outrange the PA, you know? I mean, you, you, you will be able to outrange the PA only if the PA will show herself, right? But in a in a proper team fight, that PA is the last one that will go in, unless he will, he he, he uh, she saw you and then she go in immediately and kill you with the BKB and such, you know. So yeah, Aghanims, and then you, you're not you're not even spamming your laser despite having cast range. You have the cast range in the world, but you're so scared to use it. And yeah, no. Maybe there's something like sentimental value of your null in this game. If you got like detections, dust of appearance, this guy is dead because of the shadow walk thing. This guy is dead too. He actually went for silver edge even though there's there's viper already. But now is the best item on late game. No, it's not. That's why you you have to um, fix it. And also when it comes to your muscle memory, like your habit. You you have to stop using the the uh, blink dagger like that. If you can actually um, throw laser first, and then reposition yourself to safety, do it. You know you you don't have to always blink every time that you rearm. You will only blink if you if you want to go for safety or you want to commit. Not you know not because it's, it's on cooldown. You will use your, your your blink dagger. No, it's not like that. So, be careful about it. Do you have any questions for me, Koi? It's more fun to watch. <laughs> it's more it's more fun to backseat, you know? <laughs> uh, <laughs> you should go for one versus one Tinker match, you know? I'll watch it. Zed versus Koi, let's go. Both of you is in Crusader, right? I think if you're going to play against each other, it's just going to be a missile and then blink dagger out. You have no questions? So yeah, um, try to fix those habits first, Koi. And then I... Um, I think you, you... I think you will not be able to give more opportunity for the enemy to punish you. Right? Be more careful next time, because those that kind of gameplay, it's you're just lucky that you're not being punished for it. Okay, you don't have any defensive items aside from your what's the what's the name of that spell again on a tinker? Aside from this uh, defense matrix, but when it comes to the PA, though, the damage is high. She can actually kill you in there. But yeah, good luck and have fun with your games, Koi. And I will put a check mark on your request now since um, we're done with it. 